I've been on Enshrouded, my buddy Higgy's Tattoos brought this post to my attention over on Reddit. It was posted by Jojo Joe, who is a moderator on the official Enshrouded Reddit. And what they've done is gone and kind of done a roundup of some of the unofficial type of information that's come out here and there during GamesCon. And I wanted to highlight some of this because I've heard bits of this here and there, but I like how they have it kind of all chunked together in one place. So we know we're going to be getting a new biome, the mountain biome. That's also going to increase our flame and level cap. So the level cap is going to be changed from 25 to 35. And of course, we'll have a lot of new locations to explore up there. Some of the new enemies in the area is that the scavenger faction is going to be expanded, including having new enemy types like workers, taskmasters, and flamethrower wielding enemies. Some of these things I've seen, but I don't remember where, whether it was on X or in Discord here and there. Also, the new boss is gonna be Cyclops. This is now with more skin. I don't entirely know what that means. Maybe some of y'all have clarification on this rumor. And new wildlife, including frost panthers and a snow draconian vulture. That should probably be vulture. I had not seen the frost panther idea myself yet. We have also heard that we're going to be getting new NPCs, including townsfolk that can be rescued and summoned in your base. And also that there's just going to be like people in the world, like walking around in the villages and towns around the map. So it's really cool this idea that you could rescue them and bring them to your base so it'll feel more alive. They can wander around, interact with one another. We don't know exactly what all they'll be doing, how much they'll be able to help with things, how much they'll be able to interact with objects in your base. I don't imagine Imagine it's going to be, at this point, like Bell Rider Aska, where they're actually doing real tasks for you. But we'll see. Maybe we'll get to that down the line. New gameplay features. Hookshot can pull distant enemies closer to you. Get over here. I don't remember if I've heard about that one myself or not. So that's kind of new information to me. And we do know that we are going to be getting weather. There was a little bit of a conflict of who wants weather and who doesn't want weather. And they have decided to go with some weather, some rain, some wind. I don't know if it's going to be everywhere, but there is going to be snow in the mountains. There's already some snow there, some interacting between the climate. If you try to slog through up there, it's super slow. And I'm sure they'll get that balanced out. Pets and farm animals in and around our base. So we are going to be able to have pets like cats and dogs. We're looking at getting farm animals like goats and rabbits. I don't know if that's a little bit farther away, but animal husbandry, I have heard, is in the horizon. It's on the game plan. And then, of course, knowing Keen, they are definitely going to be adding in more weapons, more music, more building more furniture, crafting stations for new NPCs. The way that they continue to give us building materials, block materials, furniture is insane. That's like so many games. You have to go, oh, please, but look at that chair. Could I please just have that chair and beg for two years or more and maybe get it? And they're just like, oh, you want this? Here you go. You want this? Here you go. It's like Oprah, one for you and one for you. <laughs> I really love that about them. So in case you haven't heard these rumors trickling out here and there, now you have. Make sure to subscribe for more Enshrouded. Until next time, happy gaming.